Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading for May and some of the messages may or may not be for you. So this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And personal reading links are below the video here in the description box. Okay. All right, Virgo. So Hope you're all doing well. Hello, everybody in the chat. And let's see what your messages are, what other messages there are for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for May. Okay, you've got Hand of Cards. Taking a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, possibly gambling. Okay, so Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know here? Okay, you've got Engagement Ring. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, I like to say May is Venus month. May is your is the Taurus sign. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Um, okay, and then you've got now today. All right, that's interesting, Virgo. So, I mean, Virgo, I do feel like there's an energy here of someone who is wanting to take a risk or is going to take a risk, take a chance in regard to a partnership with you, okay, whether that's getting engaged or committing to a relationship, um, doing that happily ever after kind of thing. Um, Virgo feels to me like um, this person, whoever they are, and we're going to find out, it feels like they definitely are going to take a risk, even though you don't want to talk to them, or even though they might feel like you're not talking to them or you're not communicating or even if they weren't talking to you something's changing here okay so all right <laughs> let me get some romance angels because i can already tell you i feel like if you are not talking to somebody or they're giving you the silent treatment or not talking to you or they think that or someone thinks another person doesn't want to communicate with them i just feel like someone's gonna jump the gun here and um, offer some type of commitment, some 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 commitment to you. Uh, just it feels like it's like a gamble, you know. Let me see here. What does the romance angels have to say for Virgo in this situation? Okay, free yourself. Time to take back control of your life. Wow, Virgo. And, well, that wanted to pop back up, and then it popped back in. All right. We're just looking for some jumpers here worth waiting for. Um, releasing your ex. Okay, Virgo, it seems like um, you're going to be freeing yourself from someone who I feel like spirits talking about an ex here um, that you're letting go of and I feel like maybe you are letting divine timing happen here it, it feels almost like your energy is you know if somebody wants to take that risk um, they'll just do it and I'm not going to chase after them that's kind of like I feel like you're talking to yourself and saying that to yourself. So either you're, you've are you already released someone, you free your, freed yourself from a relationship, or you're going to be doing this in the month of May and just kind of let spirit, let Jesus, let, you know, whomever kind of work that miracle here. And it, it feels like you're not going to push something forward. You're not really reaching out to talk to any to somebody. You're um, not reaching out here in, in May to communicate with anyone. Some of you are releasing because of anger um, or you're still angry and you're not trying to spew some anger on someone or you are or they might think that you're still angry. Um, I feel like this person is not going to take like they're just going to do it. And if you don't want them, then they'll find that out but I feel like 
this whoever this person is like i said we'll see i feel like maybe i don't know if it's a chicken or egg kind of thing maybe you freed yourself and you're waiting in the background or giving somebody a certain amount of time to come forward and do the right thing or come correct um, that could be and some of you might just be releasing in may um, and opening yourself up for spirit to bring you someone who is ready for what you're ready for if that's if you're ready for union or engagement or marriage or what have you um, okay so these energies are definitely playing out we'll see if i can pick up who this person might be okay huh. Oh my gosh you guys for real rewind that play that back again did you just that just popped right back up here king of cups king of cups cancer scorpio pisces and if that's not the sign you recognize it is definitely as soon as i asked spirit was like right here get to it it's definitely someone coming through in very watery energy okay could be on the cusp of a water sign um, someone who comes in very supportive, tolerant, empathetic, nurturing, healing, loving, warm, doesn't, you know, this, this is, um, this is a court card. The King of Cups is someone, and as I always say, masculine or feminine energy. King of Cups is always someone who, um, they're very watery. They're very fluid, you know, um, they operate, they come from the heart. They come from the emotions, Okay, they don't come from the head, they don't come from the feet, um, they don't come from passion or fire, they come strictly from the heart, strictly from the water, the, the emotions, okay? Um, yeah, so that's your reading, Virgo, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. So let's see what's going on here. What's the deal with the King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups going to take this gamble this risk it's not like the king of cups to take a risk not generally they don't usually do that okay so this king of cups is um looks like they're putting things into balance and perspective temperance is here okay this so it could be somebody um it feels like evening things out you see how temperance is holding these two cups here this is definitely like um, someone understanding that there is a match the two of cups is um, two peas in a pod made for each other um, you know Virgo this feels like um, this ki this king of cups feels very calm and centered to me someone who um in this month of may uh someone who is very grounded but also um very emotional so there's a nice blend here okay this is so i feel like this king of cups comes in peace and harmony that is what temperance is self-control and moderation Okay, so I, I see emotional balance here with this King of Cups being emotionally balanced. Okay, Three of Cups, definitely a reunion. Communication as well coming in I come in peace I come in friendship um, I feel like very good intentions with this king of cups who has someone who has very deep feelings for you but this person is also very community oriented as well they spend time with friends um, or during a time with their friends there is this equilibrium that this this king of cups experiences where there's kind of like this there's so much water energy here even with temperance in these two cups this feels to me like um they're definitely finding some peace and harmony with um, a circle of friends or a group of friends in the month of may as well but there's something here where i feel like this king of cups is kind of balancing things out and 
King of Cups is not placing blame entirely on another person and is not placing blame entirely on themselves. This feels like an evening out here of saying, okay, I played a role in this. The other person did too. It's not all my fault, but I definitely am looking at a role that I played in something here. Okay. That may have caused you some anger or frustration. And maybe they were um, spreading themselves thin with this Three of Cups. This is like a party atmosphere. You know, um, I feel like though through this engaging with other people or dating other people or spending time with friends and things like that, it feels like this King of Cups is coming into this place of temperance, like, I don't know, going from these three cups to two, I don't feel like this is this situation with other people is working out for them so well. It's not bad. It's not a bad thing, but it feels like it's fleeting. You know, it's um I feel like this King of Cups it's kind of, I don't know if this person was in party mode all the time. Um, or, you know, happy hour is only for one hour. It's not every single minute of the day, you know, and um, it seems like this King Cups is kind of like with temperance, like, hmm, this isn't really working out for me here. I need another, I need another half. I want to blend my watery energy with one other person, not all these people all this time. Okay, so there's definitely coming into balance. Um, wanting to, it feels like have peace. I really feel like it. They just keep screaming at me, peace. Or maybe pizza. I don't know, peace or pizza. Pizza, pi pizza, pizza. <laughs> um, so, oh, gosh, Virgo. Got the lovers. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Virgo, you know, usually I'm out here doing these readings and I got like, I don't know, 30 cards on the table. I don't really feel like I need to do 30 cards at this point. I, re I feel like this person um, is coming in to try to bring or wants to have um, this peaceable relationship with you with love okay by way of love there's cups and there's love here it's all emotional this person i feel like has a very deep feelings for you virgo this this king of cups has very deep feelings they they do love you yes there 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 is something here between you and this other person and like i said just remember they don't have to be a water sign they get a water in their chart um But apart from that, I feel like there was definitely a match. And I see you being very spiritual here in your life, looking up to the angel Gabriel. And this person's looking at you. I feel like um, they're looking for you to lead the spiritual way or the spiritual path. Um, they're, they're, I feel like they're watching you um, as you have spiritual growth or enlightenment. I mean, I feel like this person, they're very focused on you. And you're not really focusing on them. You're focusing on the angels. And even with the sun there, that's definitely the, 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 the God or the Holy Spirit. You know, it, it's like, I don't know, you've, you've got yourself released and focusing on your spiritual well-being and growth. And this person is looking at that um, and seeing you coming into balance. So I don't know how they're seeing that, Virgo. Um but I feel like this person, they already know that you are someone who's worth waiting for. They already know that you've released. Um, and if not, they will see that in May. Um, that you are freeing yourself. And this person may have had an ex that they were talking to. And um, they're freeing themselves from that person whether that is in the physical sense or, a, or it's just energetic or whatever, you know, maybe it's a residual from a past relationship or they've, they've recently talked to them and they, they've, they've come to realize that that ex was playing a role in maybe why you're not talking to them um, or if they had a bunch of exes they were talking to and still kind of hanging around or flirting with them. Um, 
I don't know, something hits them here. I feel like the angels come down and, you know, kind of smack them. Look, we've got angels here. You got angel here, angel here. I mean, this is this is definitely angel infused. And, and maybe even their guide, guardian angel or their guided angels are telling them um, to release whoever they were keeping in their energy. Because um, there's something here about you, Virgo, that I just feel like they know that you're a match made in heaven, the two of you. Okay. Um, let me see what your messages of love are here, Virgo. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't here yesterday because I had a sneeze fest going on, and I um, I could not stop sneezing. It was one. I was on like some kind of I don't even know marathon sneeze event, and it just would not stop. And I was like, as soon as I would get a reprieve, I didn't want to make a video. I wanted to just lay down and breathe. You know, um, so I don't know what was happening yesterday, but no allergy medicine in the world works when that happens. It's they're more like um, particles of some sort because I really don't have allergies. I thought I did, but it's more like non allergic reactions um, to some type of particles in the air. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that, but the past couple of years, I was just like, what is going on? So yeah, I, I just couldn't make a video sneezing every two minutes. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek, Virgo. Huh, that's interesting. What's your intuition telling you about someone here? That this is your person? That this has always been your person? Um, that there wasn't anything you really could do um, to make them love you as much as you love them, so you let them go? Um, this might be something you come to in May. And I don't feel like there's someone here that really wants to let you go. Okay. Um, so your intuition, whatever your intuition is telling you about this person, regardless of the reading that I'm giving you, you already know the answer that you seek it's already within you and it's just a matter of trusting what you already know even if it has nothing to do with this reading for some of you your intuition might be telling you you've waited and you've always felt that this person was wa worth waiting for but you are not going to try to make this relationship work anymore and you might be coming that to yourself to yourself in may and kind of Pulling away because your intuition is telling you to back off and give this person time and space to come correct with the bloody stump if needed. Let me see what other message there is here for you, Virgo. <laughs> for some of you, your intuition is telling you to wait. Timing is not quite right. And then you have the worth waiting for card. Now, listen, let me give a caveat here, you guys. I mean, listen, I'm just a master. I, I know sometimes you guys seek my advice and stuff, and I don't really want to tell you what to do here in a general reading because I'm not speaking to you one-on-one. -on -one. So I don't know your situation. I'm just giving this very general reading. When you click off this reading, you can sit and meditate and contemplate on what has been said here, but you need to make the best decision for yourself, okay? So if the reading is saying wait, but you've left a very toxic relationship, um, is there a chance for someone here to have some type of godly intervention? Of course, there is. Um, does that mean it will happen? I don't know. Um, but you have to discern if you're going to wait for someone because the timing isn't right. How long is that going to be? And where are you in your life at this point? Are you? Do you have that time to wait for this person? Is there something here that's worth waiting for? You might feel like there is. And for others, you might feel like no. You, you might have been waiting for years and years and years you know so you have to be the one to discern based on your own personal unique situation you can always get a personal reading with me and i can we can i can help you sort that out of course but um i feel like for some of you here that um you know this is your person you know this person for whatever reason 
they think that you're not talking to them. Maybe you told them that. Or they think you're angry. I feel like this person is going to try to bring some band-aids, <laughs> maybe a little Kool-Aid, and try to fix something here to come together. Maybe you're already married to this person um, in the legal sense or the physical sense or the spiritual sense. Okay. So for some of you, yeah, that is a message of um, waiting. It's a, t it's a timing thing. Wait on God to give you the sign that you you may need if you are unsure about waiting all right what's the hidden truth about this person okay well they want you that's for sure what else and they wish that they had treated you better virgo so hmm Will you be hanging up on the phone on someone or not talking to them or or uh, doing the sprinkler dance here to just with the phone when they call or maybe just like you know hold the phone out and say you know tell it to, tell it to preach it to the choir preach into the choir you know I don't know exactly what happened Virgo but if this person wished that they had treated you better it's probably because they didn't all right, maybe they were messing around or just not respecting the relationship. Or the the marriage, the covenant that you created with integrity. What else? Okay. So, the hidden truth is their life is not as together as it seems. So, did they make it seem like their life is together? Are they making it seem that way now? Will they be making it seem that way in um, the rest of May? Possibly. Given off a show, like they got it all together and everything's fine. Or they're not talking to you and they're giving you the silent treatment and um, trying to make, like, make it look like they don't care. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Withholding their feelings, not sharing anything with you, and making it seem like um, they got it all going on. <laughs> um, all right, let me see what your Moon Pie Tarot messages are here. Okay, so there's a new passionate start. That's for you, Virgo. Whatever you're doing in your life at this time, you might be starting something in May that really gets you uh, your your passion, set your your passions on fire, whatever it might be. Something in particular, um, as you make this break, um, pursuing some type of passionate passion project or something that you um, are really feeling your down your bones that you really want to get into. Whatever it might be, it could be uh, schooling, it could be learning some new skills, it could be doing something creative, um, it could be doing something health, spiritual. There's definitely a new beginning happening here for you in May. And I think that's great. I also feel like in uh, this relationship as well, a lot of new new stuff. So, it, you know, coming out of this Mercury retrograde as well, that retrograde brought a lot of people down. The retrograde really brought people to rethink things. And um, even you guys, the, all of us, gave us an opportunity to reflect on um, kind of correct some of our mistakes, forgive ourselves and move forward into new beginnings. Um, and it didn't just happen to Virgos. I mean, I feel like Virgos definitely felt the brunt of it, but it happened to everybody. Some ignored it. And some dealt with it. Okay, waiting for an answer. So, Virgo, um, I see you in May being in this position of waiting to hear back about something. Okay. And I feel like whatever that might be, that energy it is a lot of waiting energy for you. You've been waiting, you currently are waiting, or you will keep waiting. Um, but I see that some of you are sitting here waiting for some type of answer, whether that is you've been praying and asking for signs or seeking answers to some unsolved puzzles that you've been trying to figure out in your life. I, I, feel, I feel like the message is that just 
keep your focus on your prayers keep your positivity and your faith as you wait for this answer don't give up if it doesn't come right away when you need it it's not an emergency for some i don't know for all of you but um, the signs will be delivered when it's time for you to know okay virgo so whatever you're waiting for right now Okay, some of you might be waiting to find out about a loan or waiting for the right time to consider a loan. Um, if that's the case, Virgo, here you go. It looks like that will be offered to you. And if that's not what it is, there is definitely some type of loan that's going to get offered to you. Will you accept? I don't know. Um, This almost feels like, because a loan is not generally a gift. A loan generally means it's borrowed. But I feel like this loan of some sort that's coming in, um, you won't have to commit to paying it back. So this might be, for some of you, like a grant of some sort, which they call a loan, but it's actually a gift where you won't have to pay it back. Okay, it's a non-committal loan. I'm not a financial person. <laughs> I don't have a business degree. Um, and so whatever message I'm getting here, maybe you can make sense of it. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of trying to give you an idea of what this could be. Um, it's, it's a non-committal loan. So if there's an actual term for that in finances and accounting and business, please feel free to sum that up for yourself. I, I don't I don't really do that stuff, but I can tell you. Well, I mean, I could do it, but I do this. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like whatever this whatever this is, or someone gives you some money for something and, and tells you, you know, pay it back. If you want to pay it back, pay it back. If you don't want to pay it back, it's fine. If you want to put something towards it to pay it back, that's fine too. Um, I just feel like it's, it's given to you. And um, I feel like it's given to you. And then, the, then whoever hand, gives it to you, either a company or a person, just turns their back on it, walks away. And, you know, okay, I'm going too long on that. So that's coming in for you in May. Okay. And so is a committed love relationship, Virgo. I mean, hmm, okay. So, yeah, Virgo, I, you know, I mean, I feel like these cards are just speaking for themselves here. There's a lot of different things going on here, but I see you will be in a committed love relationship at least by the end of May and, and somewhere going into the month of June, okay? Um, and it's with the King of Cups. So whoever that is, I don't know if that's your past person, your present person, your future person, it's with the King of Cups, Male or female, okay? Masculine or feminine? I'm going to give you your Chinese signs. Now, you guys, I'm making up a little ebook for the Chinese sign compatibilities. Um, and I'm going to put it on my Gunroad site. And when it is up and available, it'll be just like a downloadable ebook that you can, uh, once you purchase it, be super inexpensive and it's going to have a lot in there some juicy bits about the different Chinese signs um, yours also the person that you're you know could be currently involved with and how to if you guys are 50 50 if you're 100 percent or if you're zero percent how to make um, that relationship better and also if you're single and you are seeking to connect and match well with someone um, I will give you those Chinese signs which you basically really don't need to go up to anybody you meet and ask them their Chinese sign um, you can know by just the year that they were born or their birthday or how old they are okay so um, because I really do believe that a lot of the relationships that aren't working out um, or that are failing or that are a struggle are because your Chinese signs are not well matched and I really firmly believe that and if anyone can show me two Chinese signs that are matched well in their zodiac as well um, and they're splitting up there's got to be some other factor that nobody's really you know there, there could be something missing in the brain <laughs> of some sort but I don't feel like um, 
there will be a problem. I feel like a lot of the times y'all are just connecting with people that you're not equal with. And that doesn't make you or another person bad. It just means that either some of you are creating soul ties with pe people that you're not matched with and you're having some trauma from that um, or you're not creating soul ties but you're pursuing relationships with people um, and giving too much leeway. Not everybody is meant for you, right? And there are some who are and there are some who aren't. So I'm going to put that out. And when I do, I will let you guys all know. And you'll be able to pick that up from my Gumroad account. And I think you'll like it. I do. I think you guys will. I, I think it'll give you some kind of insight. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Now this, this King of Cups and you show me the Chinese signs. Okay. So got the year of the dog, the year of the snake, the year of the rooster, the year of the rat. I know roosters and rats are not a good match. Roosters and dogs are not a good match. Roosters and snakes are a good match. Uh, year of the ox. Roosters. Why am I talking about roosters? Because they're in the center here. Well, I'm a rooster and I know it. Roosters are compatible with snakes, with ox, and I think monkey. Possibly monkey. Year of the monkey. Okay, we've got ox again. Year of the rabbit. And year of the horse. Okay, so that could be you. It could be your person. Um, or it might be none of you. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's going to fit who it fits. All right, let's see if we can get some names for you guys. Names and randoms. Random messages and names. Okay. I see someone trying to fix their clock. Is there actually some some of you or one buddy, some person who's listening to this that has not set their clock, their um, their daylight savings clock? Does anybody um, is there anyone who has an area that they haven't done that, a clock that they haven't done that? I feel like you need to do that. That's what I'm just hearing, like the message. I don't know if it's in your car. I know on your phone it's automatic, but in your car or somewhere in your house, I feel like I don't know why that. It's not even like I mean. What's the point? You know, you just subtract an hour, add an hour, but I don't know. I just feel like someone, either you were thinking about doing that and you haven't done it, or every time you see that clock, you're like, I gotta fix that. Well, I don't know. Or maybe you need a battery in your clock. Some of you check your battery. It could be slowing if you have a battery operated clock. Um, okay. All right, they just told me Jose. Jose, do you need to fix your clock? <laughs> All right, um, so I'm looking, at, they're giving me the numbers 210, so 210. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm also picking up someone as a drummer, plays the drums. Or is in a band. Either a singer. Oh, okay. They're showing me someone who plays the drums. Now, this is a unique talent. They, they play the drums and they sing at the same time, simultaneously, in a song. Someone plays the drums and sings while they're playing the drums. I, that's kind of like using your left and right hand at the same time to do the same exact task. Someone is... Is that someone who is... Is it ambidextrous? I can't remember what it's called. Someone who can use both both hands. That so there's someone here who is um, left and right brain oriented simultaneously. Some people, I guess, are either right brained, some are left brained. I don't know who this is that I'm picking up, but this is someone who is capable of using either both at the same time or you are accessing both um, their logic and their creative side right um because i think 
I don't know. I just feel like it, it, that's a difficult task is to be able to sing and keep in time with a beat, like a drum, playing the drums. Okay, I don't know. Uh, somebody might be learning to do that or somebody does that. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> but maybe it's really easy for people and I'm just, I can't access that part of my brain to, to do them both. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Now they're just giving me this beautiful... So I'm seeing this bunny rabbit, but this bunny rabbit is gigantic. It's not like a like cute little bunny out in your backyard. This is like somebody either has a pet bunny. This is a, a heavy set bunny, a very big bunny rabbit I'm seeing. You know, those big heavy ones that they're huge. So I don't know if somebody has one of those. I, I'm just seeing he's so adorable and cuddly and he's huge. <laughs> okay. Something to do with a bunny rabbit here. <clears throat> or maybe you see one out back and it's like, who's feeding him? Okay, let's see. Initials C. We have initial Q. Uh, someone's name starts with an M. We also have a J and a Z. Okay. We also have the letter S. Picking up an S. Got a letter A and an R. Hmm. Um, they're just saying someone is open hearted. Someone is very open. Their heart, they wear their heart on their sleeve, open hearted. An open hearted person. Always has, always wears their heart on their sleeve. Always vulnerable, not protecting their heart. Um, just, I'm hearing that they, um, they're always doing good. Someone's always doing good for other people, continuously, nonstop doing good for other people, wears their heart on their sleeve, and oftentimes um, they get hurt, but they continuously do it anyway. Their heart takes a beating, but they still continuously do it. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all you moms, but they still continuously uh, take a beating, but they keep giving and giving and giving and giving. They don't stop giving. Okay, that is so weird because I was just thinking of the Knight of Cups when I was saying that. And I saw the Knight of Cups in my mind's eye. The Knight of Cups is kind of half shielded. The Knight of Cups wears half of a suit of armor. So half a suit of armor is, you know, the Knight of Cups is a knight. And so the Knight of Cups is a warrior, but half of his suit is exposed. And that's the half where his heart is. And... Um, whoever this might be, you or another person, it's like they, they're they a warrior, a love warrior. So when I'm hearing someone's a love warrior, so maybe it's this person who wears their heart on the sleeve and gives, 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 um, but they're a love warrior. Okay, this doesn't have to be a romantic partner, though. This could be somebody else that you just know um, or that you know of who is, you know, it could be someone who, uh, it's just anybody that you hear of or you know of that is like a love warrior I'm hearing. I don't even know what that means. A warrior of love, a, a seeker of love and justice, a seeker of truth and justice and love. Okay. Um, and I'm also seeing somebody's delivering drinks. Um, somebody's delivering drinks. That I just see a person in like a, I don't know if it's like one of those you order from a bar or restaurant and they, they bring it to you. Or something or a liquor store or something I see someone getting like delivery of, of it's either alcohol or drinks someone's ordering some type of drinks um, and I'm also seeing someone who has very very blonde hair might even be platinum might even be white but it's someone's very very blonde hair 
pale, very pale blonde hair. All right, let me get some dice for you guys. And also the numbers that were coming out. Um, we have the 27th. We also have, um, it's weird. Um, they're giving me 410 now. And also um, uh, 74. Okay. All right, signs, you have Sagittarius twice here. Well, no, you've got Sagittarius three times. Three times, you also have Leo. So all fire here, three Sagittarius. Okay, so August 29th, 23rd, 25th, and September 9th, 15th, 20th, also August 31st, um, September 3rd, September 1st, the 10th, and the 11th. Okay, and also 2015, very significant year for someone. And they're giving me, hmm, now they're just saying March 11th, March 10th or 11th, significant. And they're also giving me the numbers 1110. Okay, someone's 51. Someone is 66. Um, someone might be 88 also. Um, I'm also getting 68. And they're giving me the number 208. They're giving me 99. <clears throat> and 910. 910. Also, 8851. Oh, okay. 2089. All right, let me see what the other zodiac is okay leo again sagittarius again gemini and taurus and scorpio gemini cancer and sagittarius again so sagittarius is really strong in this reading okay um because it showed up three times so if you're connecting with a sagittarius oh, i'm also picking up september 20th if you're connecting, if there's a connection with the Sagittarius, they're definitely showing up here during this time. Let me get a charm for you, and then I'm going to close out your reading. Okay, well, huh, speaking of drinks, interesting. You have a bottle opener. <laughs> so, of course, my bottle opener, nothing ever wants to stay in my hand. So you have a bottle opener, so somebody might be opening a drink, popping a... A, a can of something or other, um, or uh, a bottle. No, not a can, a bottle. Okay. Um, that's really strange. Hold on a second. Getting a really weird message with this. Um, I'm also seeing, I know you probably can't see it, but I'm also seeing a bride here. So I don't know, is somebody going to a wedding or something to do with a, a wedding bride or a bridegroom? I know uh, you guys don't ask, don't ask. It's just when I'm seeing a bride and I'm seeing a beautiful dress, like a wedding dress um, with, a, with a train, okay? All that from a bottle opener, hey. That's what I do. Now you also have the cutest, the cutest little thing. You have a, um, a footprint. So it's either a kitty footprint or a doggy footprint. It's a paw print. We'll just say that there's a paw print of some kind of an animal. Um, maybe you're seeing that or there's something you're honoring about a pet or someone is, on, it could be a gift for someone, um, puppy paw print gift of some, some kind. I don't know. Uh, putting a, <laughs> that is the cutest thing. 
someone's having a birthday or something and the doggy is going to put their or the animal the cat maybe i don't know is going to put their paw print and in ink and then there, somebody's going to put it on a card <laughs> that's the sweetest thing i swear like the the animal is signing the card too i don't know is that some kind of idea that you're thinking of doing or somebody does that for you for something special yeah something here to do with a paw print i mean it's really cute for a little put your kitty cat or your doggy's paw print on a card because you know animals can't write so that's their inked print right there it's it could be a tattoo for some of you as well look a little paw print tattoo of some sort i hate you guys so yeah i'm done so i'm gonna leave that here for you again if you want to get a personal reading there is a link in the description box below uh you can book with me um i'm short on arrow hours so um, hours aren't going to be changing anytime soon so yeah if you really really need I did open up some slots um, if I forget to post the link in the description box below um, you just have to go to moonpietarot.com okay but I'm sure I'll remember to do it all right you guys so have a great night and I'll see you all back here tomorrow take care bye